Hey everyone, this is Russell Holly with Geek.com, and we are going to take a quick look at the new Android device manager specifically for finding your phone if it's been lost or stolen. Uh, you're going to go to android.com slash device manager in your browser, and it's going to take you specifically to your device manager. You have to be logged into your, your Gmail account. If you're not already logged in on your browser, it'll ask you to log in. And uh, what you can see here is it'll pull up uh, your device. It'll, it'll try and track the device if it's on uh, through its location. And from there, you'll be able to either uh, ring it or if you've set it up correctly, uh, erase it. So let's go through real quick how you would set up so that you can erase it. You're going to take your phone. You're going to go to the green Google Settings app that's in the app drawer specifically for Google services. And you'll see Android Device Manager. You want to make sure that Allow Remote Factory Reset is checked. There's not a whole lot else going on on this feature here. So make sure you're going to see it just like this. You're going to check it. It's going to ask you if you want to activate this feature. It's going to explain exactly what it does, which is completely wipe your phone. If you tell it to remote wipe, it's going to destroy everything on your phone. It'll no longer be your phone. So let's say that you've done that. You're going to make sure that you find your phone in the list. If you've got multiple devices, you'll have to pick one out of the list. Uh, and after that, you locate your device. You can change the name and personalize it if you want, if you've got many devices on your account. Uh, but you can hit the ring button, and it'll uh, it'll cause your ringer to turn on even if your phone is muted and be nice and loud. Or if you're sure that the phone's been stolen, just go ahead and flat erase it. It'll delete everything you own off of that phone, and it'll be done with. And that's just a quick look at the new device manager that's available on any Android phone running 2.2 or higher. Thanks for watching.